Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve search insert position, lead code number 35. So we are given a sorted array of distinct integers, and we're also given a target value. We need to return the index if the target is found, but if it's not, we should return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. And they give you a massive hint that you should do binary search here by saying you must write an algorithm with big O of log n runtime. Okay, so let's look at an example here, 1356 target of five. We can see that we do find it and so we just return the index which is 0 1 2. Now for this example we have the same array but we're searching for 2. Now we can't find 2 and so where it should be is right here. We can see it should be in the second spot or the 1 index so that's what we return. And in this last example here we have a target of 7 with the same array that should go at the very end and so that would be 0 1 2 3 4 basically creating a new last index there. So a binary search is going to take big O of log n time because every single time it basically cuts the array in half. So it's a very fast algorithm. Basically what we do here is we would get a index at the beginning, L is equal to zero. And if we had N is equal to four, where that's the number of elements in the array, then that is going to set the R index at N minus one, which is going to be three, okay? So we set up our two indices right here. And then we iteratively calculate a middle index, which is going to be L plus R over two. That is going to give a value of three plus zero over two integer division, that'll be 1.5 rounded down to one. So we'd get M is equal to this index right here. Now we would see that we want to basically search on the left of this because our middle value is too big. It's bigger than our target. So we would adjust R to be M minus one. So we have L and R equaling each other. So we are searching for a target of two. We may actually be able to find that target. So we want to run this while loop while L is less than or equal to R. Okay, we want them to run on the iteration they're equal to each other to see if we can find that value when they are the same index. Now it turns out we can't find that value here. And so they would actually end up crisscrossing because we'd get this as our M. They are going to crisscross here and we will lose the constraint of while L is less than or equal to R. So what's going to happen is that M is actually going to be the last value that we looked at here. And that's all that we're considering here. So we ran our while loop here. So we're out of that now. And we're just looking at M. So we look at our middle valued nums at M here. And it turns out that we have that is less than the target T, which is two. So since it's less than it, that tells us that our target should have been located at M plus one here. Okay, it should have been located at zero plus one, which is one. And basically that would force all of these to have shifted over here. So it should have been found like this where we had to right here. So that's what we'd have if nums at M is less than the target. But let's suppose a different example where we actually were searching for the target of four. Well, if we're searching for four, well, we'll do the same thing again, L and R, and then we would get our M is L plus R over two. M is going to be right here. Now this time we are comparing three to four. So three is smaller than four. So our target is bigger. We would end up searching over here here. And so now M is going to be two plus three over two, which is 2.5 rounded down to two. So M is going to be right here. And from here, we see that our target is smaller. So it's smaller than this middle value here. When it's smaller, that means we'd want to set R to be M minus one, we'd want to look over here, but now they crisscross. And we have now this situation where we're looking at M, but nums at M is bigger than the target. Okay, so we compare this one more time, it turns out that nums at M is actually bigger than the target. And so we were on the right side of it. If we're on the right side of it, well, then where it should have been inserted is right here, except that's really where it already is. This is exactly where it already is. It should have been shifted like this, where these move over to here. And this is going to be right here. And so it actually keeps the same index that M already was. Okay, so let's write our code. We're going to get N is equal to the length of the numbers array. And we will get our index L is equal to the first index zero. We'll get R is the last index, which is N minus one. And then we will say while L is less than or equal to R, you want that equals two to make sure that you try and find it on the very last iteration when they are equal to each other. We get 
get our middle index m that is equal to l plus r integer division so double slash over two and this is just traditional binary search here if nums add m is less than the target that means that our target is bigger so we want to look in the right side if you want to look in the right side you want l is equal to m plus one otherwise you could have that the nums at m is actually greater than the target okay so your target is smaller we want to look in the left side to look in the left side you do r is equal to m minus one and then otherwise it must have been equal because your middle value wasn't less than it and it wasn't greater than it it must be equal to it therefore we found it and we found it at the index of m okay but otherwise we get outside of this loop and then we just need to do our simple comparison here if nums at m is actually less than the target we should return m plus one and otherwise we know it's not equal because we already checked here if it was equal so it's either less than it or it's greater than it and so we should just return m okay so as we already said here it was a requirement that the time complexity of this solution is big o of log n we're really just doing a simple binary search here with a very simple check at the end so that's going to be log n time and the space complexity of this we are really not using any extra space at all just some indices and some simple checks here so the space complexity is definitely constant all right so here's the entire code drop a like if this was helpful guys i hope it was and have a great day bye bye